Hypersomnia may be associated with many conditions, including psychiatric disorders, medical illnesses, effects from medications or substances of abuse, or as a consequence of other sleep-wake disorders. However, there are several disorders of hypersomnia that are not secondary to these other conditions and are thought to arise as a consequence of neuropathology within the sleep-wake circuitry of the brain. Such disorders are known as central disorders of hypersomnolence and include idiopathic hypersomnia, recurrent hypersomnia, and narcolepsy. Idiopathic hypersomnia is characterized by either long or normal sleep duration with excessive daytime sleepiness and complaints of non-refreshing sleep. Klein-Levin syndrome is the most common form of recurrent hypersomnia. This rare disorder mostly affects adolescent boys and is characterized by bouts of hypersomnolence coupled with cognitive and mood disturbances, compulsive eating, hypersexuality, and disinhibited behavior. Narcolepsy is characterized by excessive daytime sleepiness, intrusion of sleep during periods of wakefulness, and abnormal REM sleep including periods of REM occurring at the onset of sleep. Cataplexy, the loss of muscle tone triggered by emotions, may also be present. With the exception of narcolepsy with cataplexy, the underlying neuropathology of the central disorders of hypersomnolence is largely unknown. In the case of narcolepsy with cataplexy, a clear neuropathological substrate has been identified. Patients with narcolepsy with cataplexy exhibit a profound loss of hypocretin orexin neurons in the lateral hypothalamus. These neurons are involved in the maintenance of wakefulness through their actions on other components of the wake circuitry, including acetylcholine from the basal forebrain and pedunculopontine and laterodorsal tegmental nuclei onto the thalamus, and dopamine from the ventral tegmental area. Additionally, the input of hypocretin orexin neurons stimulates norepinephrine from the locus ceruleus and serotonin from the raphe nucleus. The release of norepinephrine and serotonin influences activation of motor neurons. During REM sleep, norepinephrine and serotonin activation of motor activity, as well as other components of the wake circuit, are inhibited by GABA released from the ventrolateral preoptic nucleus. Hypocretin orexin normally prevents this inhibition of motor control during periods of wakefulness by turning off the ventrolateral preoptic nucleus. Given that hypocretin orexin is necessary for the stabilization of wakefulness, it is not surprising that patients with loss of hypocretin orexin neurons exhibit the intrusion of sleep and cataplexy during periods of wakefulness. In addition to behavioral modifications, including improving sleep hygiene and implementing scheduled naps, there are several pharmacological agents available for the treatment of hypersomnia, including sodium oxabate, modafinil or modafinil, stimulants, adamoxetine, and clarithromycin. Sodium oxabate is a full agonist at gamma-hydroxybutyrate receptors and a partial agonist at GABA-B receptors. As a GABA-B partial agonist, sodium oxabate acts as an antagonist when GABA levels are elevated and as an agonist when GABA levels are low. It is hypothesized that sodium oxabate increases both slow-wave sleep and improves cataplexy through these actions at GABA-B receptors. Modafinil and its R enantiomer, R modafinil, are wake-promoting agents. Although their mechanism of action has yet to be clearly elucidated, it is thought to affect many of the neurotransmitter systems of the sleep-wake circuitry, including hypocretin orexin, histamine, glutamate, dopamine, and GABA. Stimulants, including amphetamines and methylphenidate, act in part by inhibiting dopamine and or norepinephrine reuptake transporters, thus increasing the levels of dopamine and norepinephrine in the wake circuit. Atomoxetine has a similar mechanism of action involving inhibition of norepinephrine reuptake. In addition to these available treatments for hypersomnia, there are several other agents being researched. For instance, clarithromycin is an antibiotic that reduces GABAergic neurotransmission and may therefore promote wakefulness. Hypocretin orexin agonists also have potential for both the reduction in daytime sleepiness as well as for cataplexy.